Hey guys, it's Richard here, and today's tutorial video is how to wire up the jail cell doors like I did in my uh, my jail video, and you can uh, you can watch that right here. I promise you, it will work. So, what happens was uh, we had our control room uh, it consisted of six levers and uh, six doors and a little um, hallway or corridor, just like this. But I didn't put in the doors because I didn't feel like it. And um, I just have the, the little lights above it to show you really how it works. Um, all right, so let's get started. So you see right here, we got one, two, three, four. And uh, I didn't feel like doing six. I just needed to show you how it was done. So when we hit one, there it is. Room one goes out. Flip that back on. We hit two. Room two went out. We hit three. Room three goes out, and we hit four, and room four goes out. So, the biggest and hardest part of this is um, that we're up. We're up in the air, and we have to somehow get down there with as little space as possible. So, um, that's what a lot of people were asking me when they asked me how I did it. Um, it's very simple. It's not that hard at all, I promise. So, uh, so yeah, let's see what goes on. So you see I have connected to the back of all the levers, and it goes down here. Now, if you watch my vertical wiring tutorial, you will understand what I did and how I did it right here. And, um, and yeah, that's, I mean, it, it helps you go down with little, little room. So, so let's check it out. Let's go over here to my little elevator. Doosh. All right. So as you can see on the wall, we have vertical wiring to go straight down, and then uh, I've numbered them, one, two, three, and four, just to stay a little organized. And um, I actually had this planned for a tutorial a while back. That's why you'll see these old school repeaters right here. Uh, I keep them around because because uh, they look good. Um, they remind me of the good days. So this is what happens. Um, you have it here. Normally, this would all be underground. Uh, I just decided to be a little bit lazy and go through the corridors. Um, all you'd have to do is go down a few more, and then, um, and then yeah, go underneath it. So, so let's see what happens. So here you have a repeater, just like a diode, just like one of these. You go in, and all it does is carry the signal to the torch right there, and that's it. I mean, like I said, normally it would go right underneath it, or in my case, I went right above it, and um, and yeah. And if you wanted to do the door, I mean, it's just as simple as this design right here. That's all it was. I just put a torch right underneath the door with a block that connected to the same lever. It was really simple. So now when you give it current, door shuts, door opens, oops, door shuts, door opens. So I mean, that's basically it. Um, if you want a more in-depth tutorial, uh, I will be glad to show you. Uh, all you have to do is come on the server, uh, tell me what you're looking for. Uh, you don't have to apply for the whitelist or anything if uh, if you're coming on just to learn, but you won't be able to build. You'll be stuck in the default state until you fill out the application for the server. So, um, so yeah, I'll go into more in-depth tutorial on Skype with you. Uh, my Skype's actually below if you want to add me and, and chat it up. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you a little bit. And, um, yeah. Uh, go ahead and reply to some videos with some of these techniques that you've used or or that you think's awesome so I'll see you guys later and uh, please feel free to comment rate and subscribe I love it and uh, I'll see you guys next time